Hey design fans, this is Kara Angotti with KO Angotti. We are a woman-owned interior design and energy audit firm based in Philadelphia, and we believe in supporting our local economy by working with local, excuse me, local artisans such as Rudy Art Glass. And we're here today in York, Pennsylvania, a little bit outside of Philadelphia, but uh, we found Rudy Art Glass because I used to work in an architecture firm and we had a sample box that included textures, colors, um, anything that you could possibly think of, they figured it out in a way to work with glass. So today we're here with Erin Casey. Thanks for letting us come in, Erin. Sure, um, happy here. Thank you. And Erin's gonna tell us a little bit about recent installations that they've been working on. Backsplashes in kitchens as a residential application has been something that's um, become pretty popular and they backlight the backsplash so that you can use something that's pretty interesting as far as the interior pieces um, that would give you texture and a bit of interest. Um, so Erin, what is something that you have worked on that the most recent installation that you told me about um, that people could be using this for their houses as well? So one of the things that we've started to see is um, backsplashes that aren't necessarily opaque. So mm -hmm. a lot of the glass that traditional tile and things that you would see as backsplash has an opaque backing so that you can't see behind yeah. you know, how it's being installed. But one of the things that we started to see was using something like this, which is actually from our new product line, Glitter and Glass. So it has a nice sparkle when you're doing that backlighting, but that they're making the substrate behind it, in this case, like a faux concrete, mm -hmm. and being able to put the glass in front. So it actually gives you that double interest look so you have something that you're seeing behind the glass as well as the glass itself which has some interest and then in that particular installation they did take an opaque glass with an, another kind of glitter um, and put it above as the hood cover so it actually was a really nice look and it was a semi-modern kitchen but actually not too modern but this just added a little bit of pizzazz I think to it yeah. um, from the traditional so we're seeing more and more of that and even looking um, these are the small samples that they send out four sample boxes from Rudy Art Glass. And with the texture, um, which we'll be able to send close-ups so that you'll be able to see these a little bit better, someone that may not be as modern in their design sense in their kitchen may want something like this as an insert in their cabinetry as well. Exactly. Because exactly. then you can add some, um, just a little bit of transparency to corner cabinets or something that's a little nicer, yeah. but it's different than those hideous yeah. oak cabinets that everyone's kind of used to. <laughs> yeah, exactly. um, one of the things that we've tried to do is have a mix of glass. So what we find is that yes, some people are drawn to glass. It has a little bit of a modern, traditional feel to it, but we actually work a lot with stained glass, which is as traditional as it could be. And yeah. so in a home that's not as modern, stained glass is wonderful and we have some other organic patterns that mm -hmm. don't have that sort of colder linear feel yeah. to them that have a little bit more um, of a of a warm interesting you know less modern feel so and, and the other thing that we try to do with cabinetry and that we work with a lot is you're taking a texture but then we can add different la layers of light diffusion inside the glass so okay. it can be from the most transparent almost see-through mm -hmm. slightly you know, to slightly more, to almost completely opaque, yep. and that helps with working with the different lighting conditions. So mm -hmm. what we always try to recommend is getting samples with the level of light diffusion that the designer or the, or the end client wants, and yeah. testing it with the lighting in the space, because it will make a big difference. Right, um, and also people don't effect. want to be able to see their cereal boxes behind it. Exactly. It's something for them to think about exactly. ahead of time, that they want the look of the glass, and the texture of it, and the idea of lightening their cabinets a little bit, but they don't always want people to see their macaroni boxes and spaghetti sauce and cereal boxes. Exactly. So you guys have you know thought of everything, and along this the lines of um, the new glass and the different applications that you can do for the commercial side of things. Um, we were talking about the standoffs, so I could really see something like this piece right here with the glitter in it, if you have a different kind of substrate in a commercial application and have a standoff with it, that you'd still be able to introduce the light and it could be used in a kind of new modern way as yeah. well. One of the things that we have been spending a lot of time in is trying to develop a system for the glass so that when it gets on site, it's easy for the glazing contractor and the installer to put it in, no problems, yes it was cut exactly to size, the mm -hmm. hardware matched it exactly. It's a seamless installation. Um, so that's one of the things that we work with upfront with both the architect or designer and the glazing contractor is trying to understand, 
give us as much information as possible about where this glass is going, what are the conditions, and then we can help guide you to what's the right hardware that would match this glass and make sure it's not going to break or, or crack and the glass will um, be able to, to, to hold it. So we spent a lot of time working with them to make sure that that installation is successful. Great. Well, there you have it. We are here from York, Pennsylvania at Rudy Art Glass, and um, they do both residential as commercial. Um, so the next time you're thinking of a project, whether you're an architect, designer, or homeowner, find someone that will help you with your project or contact Rudy Art Glass directly, and they will assist you in your next glass endeavor. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.